This is a clock, and this is Seven Simul, one of the biggest cubing innovations ever. And it all started on December 3rd, 2022 in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Tommy Cherry, who'd been working with Caleb Trelford and Benjamin Paul for months, entered Rocky Top 2022 with the intent to debut this method to the world. It was about 10.50 in the morning when Cherry sat down on the red stage and changed cubing history forever. The cover was lifted, and the clock was fully memorized in approximately 14.2 seconds. And then, the solve began. All of the seven simultaneous moves were executed in exactly 4.06 seconds with minimal pauses. About one month after debuting this method to the world, Tommy Cherry posted a seven simul tutorial onto his YouTube channel. Three weeks before posting the video, Tommy Cherry had gotten a 2.97 at Pegasus 2023 in Orlando, Florida, which was a North American record at the time. This gave him the needed credibility and thousands of people started learning 7 simul. Fast forwarding five months to the Mid-Atlantic Championships, with over 170 competitors and hundreds more spectating, this was another big opportunity for the method to catch on. And you know what Tommy Cherry did? He broke the world record and started a trend that is still going on today. Eric Kasparek, Niklas Asen Eliasson, Volodymyr Kapustiansky, Brendan Dunnigan, Lachlan Gibson, and that is just for singles. All of these solvers used seven simul and all of their records were broken in the span of nine months. The single is down to 1.86 seconds today, and it seems to get broken again just as people think it can't get any lower. And theory has pushed far beyond just standard 7 simul. There are variations of 7 simul being made like Beepal, but there are also optimizations of the methods such as 7 simul tilt and pseudo 7 simul. And some innovators have combined the two add ons to get pseudo 7 simul tilt. The most advanced method yet. But back to the records, the clock world record averages have also consistently been dropping as well. Lachlan Gibson currently holds the world record average with a 2.38, but plenty of fast clockers have been getting sub 2 averages at home and they just need to get lucky in competition. But what does this all mean for the future? Well, I think that the amount of records will slow, but I definitely think that there still will be more. We are already seeing multiple people get mid to low ones at home, and if they get a good scramble in competition, who knows what will happen. There could also be more theory improvements in the future, but I personally think that we're nearing the total optimization of clock. Could clock be the first cube in the WCA to reach total optimization? Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing, or even check out some of the other videos on my channel. But anyways, thank you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.